So uh, we are doing a sum of incomplete reports. It's October, November 2014 and paper 23. Before I go to anything, what is the thing that I first need to see? What have they asked me to prepare? So what have they asked me to prepare? The cash account. Cash account and also they want me to find out the revenue. Are you with me? Yeah. So we will go, What when we are making anything, we will only think about this and this, what we see in front of us. So all this information will be related to here and some information here can be related to the B part. We'll start. I have to make a cash account. What is the first information that is given to me? The balance of cash in hand of, on the first date and cash in hand on the last date. So I have the balance at cash in hand on the first date. Balance begin now as 3270. And I have the balance closed down as 2349. Okay. Apart from that, I have been given cash receipts and payments as well. With me? Yeah. So I have vehicle repairs. Where will it come? Can you keep on telling me? Vehicle repairs will come on the credit side. Okay. Cash account follows what rule? Whatever goes out will be uh, credited and whatever comes in will be debited. Okay, so I am starting. I have vehicle repairs. How much? Vehicle repairs is uh, 2,400. Okay, then? Then fuel, fuel payment for vehicles will come on the uh, credit side, 14,301. So come on, do it along with me. Driver's wages, 4748 on the credit side. Hmm. Then rent of garage on the credit side, 1,600. You're doing along with me, right? Yeah. Then there is sundry expenses, uh, 2,972. Mm -hmm. Then uh, drawings, 11,450 on the credit, credit side only. Mm -hmm. Receipts from sale of old vehicle will come on the debit side. Sale of vehicle can also be written as what? Ah, disposal. Mm, then? Then cash stolen by assets driver four thirty will come on the credit side. Then then cash received by customers is supposed to find. We have to find it. Yeah. Cash received from customers. Yeah, we have to find it. Will come on the debit side. Figure. Yeah. Because I'm finding it. So what is the total of my credit side? Total of the credit side is 4250. Uh, yeah. From that, when I will deduct the debit, I will get something as balancing figure. 35680. Thirty-five six eighty. Yeah. Okay. Then. Then this balance close to... down. You will write it as balance begin now. Yeah. Okay. Fine. This is done. Now, what do they want us to calculate? Revenue. They, yeah. That means they are indirectly asking us to make the income statement. SLCA. No, no, yeah. Revenue. Incomplete reports to find the revenue. What will you make? 
SLC. It always has a debit balance. Okay. Below that, you will have what? A uh, credit sales. Below that, you will have credit sales. Everything else will be on the debit or the credit side. Okay. So this they want us to find out. So I would say this is my balancing figure. Hmm. Okay. Everything else. You have received this money from the customer. So first I can incorporate this on the credit side. Yeah. Yeah. So three five six eight. Thirty-five six eighty. This is one thing which normally people forget to record. Hmm. Okay. Just a minute. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, after that. After that, what? If you're not recording, huh? One minute, huh? Yeah. With me? Yeah. Yeah. So I have cash received from the customer as mm -hmm. 35, 680. Now, after that, what will I do? I have trade receivable opening balance. I recorded. I took the figure from here and I put it. Now I have the closing balance of trade receivables. That is how much? 1648. And I have bad debts also, which will come on the credit side. Sorry, this is 2863. Yeah, it's 2863. And bad debts will be 1648. When I close this account, the total of my credit side is more. What is the total of my credit side? It is uh, 40,191. 40,191. 40, 191. From this, when I will subtract my debit side, what will I get? 36,425. Uh, 36,425. So this is my credit sales. Are you with me? Yeah. Now I'll read the additional information. What is the additional information? And with the help of additional information, what do they want us to find? What do they want us to make? What do they want us to make? Prepare assets income statement. They want us to make the income statement. Okay, let me read yeah. the additional information. I will highlight the things that will go in the income statement, okay? And I will yeah. start from, from here directly. Again, mm -hmm. to see what are the things that will become a part of additional information from top. Come on, vehicle repairs of 2,400. Will it come in yeah, income statement? Other and yeah, other expenses. Other expenses. Then uh, the fuel charges. Then again other expenses. Driver's wages. Other expenses. Okay, driver's wages, other expenses. Rent of garage. Other expenses. Rent of garage will come as other expenses. What is the rent of the garage? 1600. Sundry expenses. Oh, other expenses. Drawings? No. Other expenses? No. No. Why other expenses? Drawings? Oh, yeah. Sorry. So you want to put them. Okay. Now you have sold the vehicle. So whenever yeah. you sell a vehicle, there will be two things that anything related to non-current asset, two things can come related to non-current asset. One is a depreciation. And because you've sold it, the profit or loss on sale of asset can come. Hmm. Yeah? Hmm. Cash is stolen. 430 would come in other expenses. Because it is a loss for you. Yeah. Okay. Bad debts. Bad debts is also other, other expense only. Okay, fine. Then I'll go ahead. What is this? This is related to the vehicle that had been sold. Where? 
Yeah, yeah, professional that's... information. I have marked what yeah. comes in other expenses. The credit sales would be revenue, right? Yeah. Okay, fine. Come on, let's talk about the vehicle that was sold. What are they saying? The vehicle that was sold was purchased in May for 6200 Okay? The cost of the vehicle was what? 6200 yeah. Asif's policy is to depreciate the vehicle at 50% per annum using the reducing balance method. Mm. Full year depreciation is charged in the year of acquisition and no depreciation in the year of disposal. Yeah. Okay. So that means I know the selling price of the vehicle, but I need to find the net book value of the vehicle in order to find the profit or loss on sale. Yeah. Okay. So I am trying to find the net book value of the vehicle that is sold. Hmm. I would say cost, depreciation, depreciation net and value. net book value. Okay. This was purchased in May. Hmm. Full year depreciation. Sorry? Full year depreciation will be that. That's what I would say the year end would be June 12th. Yeah. Then this would be June 13. Hmm. Our year is ending on June 14, right? And this yeah. would be June 14. Yeah? Yeah. Cost is 6,200. In the year of purchase, full year's depreciation. Yeah, so 6,200 into 50%. 50%, yeah. 100. So, net book value is 6,200 minus 3,100. Net book value is 3,100. 3,100. Year 2, 3,100. Reducing balance method. Yeah. So, will be 1,550. 1,550. So, 1,550. 1,550, no depreciation. The net book value is 1,550. Yeah. Net book value is 1550. Cost is 6200. Hmm. Net book value is compared with the selling price. What is the selling price? 1300. 1300. Where is it written that 1000? Yeah, it's written over there. Okay. Hmm? Uh, yeah, I found it. Never mind. 1,300 yeah. is sold for. So, profit or loss on disposal? Loss of 250. You have a loss of 250 on disposal. So, this yeah. loss will be? And it will be other expense. This loss will be other expenses. So, over here, I will write loss on disposal. Yes. Yeah. I'm sure you're with me, right? Yes, sir. So, loss of 250 is other expenses. Yeah. Fine. And then depreciation, you won't put anything, no? because no depreciation this is charged. No depreciation, right. Yeah, this is no depreciation. Yeah. Okay. Driver's wages 200 was owing. So I will add 200. Yeah. Owing. And garage rent 400 was prepaid. So you will minus 400. So I will minus 400. Right? With the help yeah. of this, now I can prepare my income statement. With the help of this, now I can prepare my income statement. I will start yeah, with revenue. Yeah, revenue will be 34,625. right? 36,000. That revenue I found out from the trade receivable account. Yeah, it's a 
I don't yes. have any cost of sales. No, no opening or closing inventory. No purchases. So I will directly yeah. minus the expenses. So my expenses is one is vehicle repairs of 2,400. Fuel, 14,301. Fuel expenses. Driver's wages, I will add the outstanding. That is driver's wages here. Wages, I will add the outstanding. Then I have rent of garage 1600 minus the prepaid. I have sundry expenses 2972. What else will I have? I will have loss on disposal. And I'll have the bad debts. So just record all of the expenses. Yeah. yeah. After you record the expenses, you will get profit for the year. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Let me do the D and E and then you can do the sum. Okay. Explain the benefits. If I introduce a system of credit control, what are the benefits that I can get? Four marks. If I introduce a system of credit control, that means I am uh, putting a strict control over my trade receivables. So I can get what benefits? I can have improved cash, cash flow. flow. Yeah, improved yeah. cash flow because it is four marks you have to expand. That means I will receive money from my trade receivables on time depending upon my credit policy and then I can pay my trade payables on time. Yeah. And there would be reduction in bad debts. Mm, because of prepaying. Because I have a credit control system which is very much in place and I'm not giving them too much of time. So, I will have reduced bad debts. You have to expand mm. because it is four marks. Mm. Two ratios that you could use to measure profitability of business. Can you tell me? Asset test ratio. Profitability oh, ratio. No, no, no. Yeah, profitability will be gross profit ratio and net but did profit. You, did you find gross profit over here? No. So, net profit ratio. And? The other one was what? ROC, but ROC was Return on out. capital employed, you can find, right? Return on capital yeah, Profit from operations, profit. yeah, yeah. Yeah, profit over the capital employed. So, two hmm. ratios that you could use to measure the profitability of the businesses net profit ratio and return on capital employed. Okay, so with this, we complete the sum which is of. October, November 2014, paper 23.